shall be purified. Yeah! Hey guys, what's up? It's Reverso here. Welcome back. We're playing Tales of Vesperia, uh, an English patch of the PS3 version. And we're having a lot of fun. In the last episode, we did some stuff. This episode, we will do more stuff. Guaranteed, we will do the stuff. Uh, the first stuff that we're going to do is... We're going to check out the skit. Rita's change. え、ステリーズがエステルに変わったな。ま、ま、前からそうよ。何言ってんの <laughs> and they said on that day, Rita's heart grew three sizes that day. Alright, let's see. So we have some more side quests to do. Like I promised in the last episode, uh, we have a lot of side quests to do before we leave. Uh, Heliord, the city fortress, or whatever this place is called. One of the side quests involve going into this place. See if we can find it. Oh, okay. Yuri, is that you, Yuri? Huh? Who are you? You don't remember me? I sure as heck fire remember you. It's Hachette. Not that it's. Oh wait. Not that it's easy to recognize someone when they've got a helmet on. Oh wow, you look different from how I remember. I didn't realize it was you. Haven't you gained weight? Damn, that's the first thing you're gonna say? Ouch! It's nice to see you too, Yuri. Looks like the helmet had nothing to do with it. Is this a friend of yours, Yuri? Hachet joined the Imperial Knights at the same time I did. That armor color is the same as LeBlanc's Knights, isn't it? Yep, I'm in the Schwarm Brigade. To tell you the truth, I'm pretty glad they didn't assign me to the Flynn Brigade. You didn't want to work with Flynn? Well, it would be tough working under him since we started off training to be soldiers together. That doesn't seem like the sort of thing Flynn would care about. You've got that right, Rita. Flynn's all about advancing in his career, isn't he? It's pretty crazy for a non-noble to make captain at such a young age. Me, on the other hand, thanks to all the goofing off I did with you, Yuri, I'm still nothing but a lowly peon. What sort of things did you two do? <laughs> I just looked at each other. We used to skip training and sneak into the dining hall to grab snacks. Yeah, and then we'd sneak into the warehouse to switch Bodhi Blastias for nicer, for nicer ones. Oh my god, they're thieves. Sounds like a whole lot of sneaking. It's true. We had a fair share of youthful indiscretions. Yuri's still up to his old tricks, though. <laughs> I've heard as much. Go easy on Flynn, would ya? Yeah, yeah. Don't goof off. Don't goof off too much on the job. Oh yeah, Yuri. You've been traveling around, right? You think you might be able to stop by Capua Nor and tell my folks that I'm doing well? They live in the inn, so you can't miss them. Sure, I'd be happy to. See you later, Hachette. Eh, we could do that. Oh, we Capua Nor. That's on the other side. So, whenever we get a chance to go back, we gotta remember that. Didn't expect to hear you talking so happily about your time in the Imperial Knights, Yuri. Oh yeah? I mean, it seemed to me like you didn't enjoy your time as a knight that much. Joining them was a decision I made myself. It's not all bad memories. Practice wasn't so bad. And I had all sorts of fun with my fellow knights in training. They made a whole movie out of it. From the way that knight was talking, it sounds like you acted a, wait, it sounds like you acted like a crazy and rambunctious kid. Rita, if there's one person who doesn't need to be scolding me for her little youthful indiscretion, it's you. Okay, that was cute. I don't know if that was what I was looking for. Um, is that him? 
That's not him. I was looking for this chest that was back here. Oh, that's not a real chest. Okay, alright, I could have sworn there was a chest in this room, but I was looking at that. Apparently, uh, actually, no, I'm not going to spoil that. Okay, apparently there's something that we could have done to have altered that scene a little bit. Um, basically, if we had waited until another character joined us, that scene would have been a little different. Okay, so let's see what else we have to do. Um, there's one side quest that involves us, let's see. Uh, it involves us. Finding. There we go. Oh, you found me! Blastia goes out of control and more. Yes, some serious events have taken place in the world recently. I'd better write an article about it. Post this. Day and night, I run around chasing after the newest scoops. I'm the Wonder Reporter. I'm not stalking you or anything, I promise. Well then, adieu. That was suspicious. Is he following me? That guy's definitely following us. All right, so that was one of them, getting the Wonder Reporter. Uh, let's see what else we gotta do. Looking at my list here of side quests. It's not a full-on guide. I'm not spoiling the game for myself. I'm just trying to keep track of these side quests. And let's see. One of them involves staying at the inn. We get to see a little cutscene. The city streets may look nice, but people's lives are the same everywhere. Yuri? What are you doing awake at this late at night? I couldn't sleep. I kept hearing noise from outside. Even at this late hour, everyone's still hard at work. Well, I don't think they're doing it because they enjoy it. But if they don't keep working, they won't be able to make a living. Who's paying them? And even with all this work, they're hardly able to get by. That's terrible. Damn, alright. I'm just gonna, just gonna die right here. Are you alright? You're a noble, aren't you? Stay away from me! Oh. <laughs> Rejected, damn. They've just learned to distrust nobles in the Empire. You literally live at Heliord. Like, shut up. It's nothing personal against you, though. Try not to let it bother you too much. I wonder if it's something that can be changed. I don't know. It's not easy. For his part, Flynn's trying his hardest to change things. Let's get back and get some rest. Oh, alright. So that was, uh, that was a skit. And let's see. Um, so there's one more thing we have to do. It involves backtracking a little bit. So let's go ahead and stock up. And let's see what we can do. Oh, there's some more stuff. Endless Heart, that's new. Critical Magic. Gain ability to inflict critical damage. We want that. Uh, War Axe. Gives us backstep and evade for Carol. Ogre Axe. Go ahead and buy that. Uh, we can get two of these. One of these. One of these. Uh, we already have those. Let's see. If we need some gels, you can use some gels. Kind of say about us. We can do a couple just in case we get poisoned or something. Magic lens, we can get a couple. We don't need mats. They're dumb. All right. Okay, so what can we synthesize now?
We already have the Ogre Axe. Heavy Maul plus one. We don't have a Heavy Maul. Oh, he already has that. Okay, never mind. I'm an idiot. He already had it equipped. Uh, we don't need that. We don't need that. We don't need these because we have them already. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, we have these already. Alright, so we're pretty good on stuff. Uh, let's see, we can give the P to Straw Hat to increase him a little bit. Okay. Have an attack ring. We don't have a defense ring, so let's just go ahead and take care of that. I want to get that one day. Alright. So let's go ahead and equip stuff. Uh, we got the Ogre Axe on that. We'll guard on her. Still have nothing for her to... But that's fine. Uh, she was still doing this. Alright. So let's have her do that. He's got that. He's got these new ones. And we're good for now. Alright. So, uh... What we have to do is backtrack a little bit back to Kara Bakram. And, uh, I think we have to go back to that Blastia. That I was looking at before. That I mentioned that really didn't do anything. And I was really confused. Uh, for a scene. I hope we don't have to go that far back in. So that's pretty far into the map, but... We can do it. Alright. Let's see. Karabakram is over back this way. It's against that wall right over there. Go away! Damn it. Alright, so now we got some new stuff. Got some new weapons. Got some new... Uh... Abilities. Alright, so... We can easily take these guys out. And then just make our way to Karabakram. I was trying to do that. Oh! I didn't even get to kill it. Oh, everybody's got their burst arts. Very nice. So not everybody can do burst arts. Which is pretty awesome. I didn't even look at everybody's skills. Hold on. Uh, so, is there anything I want? Uh, give me that. Give me that, uh, huh. Taunt. I don't need taunt. Item thrower. Give me that. Basically, strength or swords up. I have an axe equipped, so let's just do strength for now. And, uh, that's it for now. I'm trying to think if there's anything worth putting on her. She doesn't have enough. She can roll. Oh, I don't have these HP conditions anymore. Hold on. I want that, definitely. And... I she have five left. Max HP. It's gonna be good. She have three left. Magic attack power. Half damage. Get that out of here. Get that shit out of here. We'll do the XP share. That's important. He tends to spend some time outside. And I don't really have enough for anything else. Uh, 
a cross counter. Let's just do that for now. <clears throat> Alright. So let's just make our way back to Karabakram. Oh crap, I tried to do the Sorcerer's Ring thing, but that didn't work. Ow. I wonder how long till Rita gets that third fireball. I'm not keeping track. If you guys know, let me know. If anybody feels like looking it up, but... She's got, uh... Oops. She's got... 189. So my guess is like 250. She'll probably get a third one. And then I think at 500 she gets her fourth. I feel like I feel like that makes sense. Um, I forget the exact numbers. Alright. So... Yeah, it looks like we have to go all the way back to the Blastia. It's really annoying because I kind of forget where it is. Wasn't really trying to fight this thing. That's fine. We took out enough of these guys the first time. Ow, ow, ow. Oh, nice. So, uh, when I was re-watching these videos, when I was editing, I, um, I finally get, like, there's kind of this running joke with Estelle, with the high fives. Um, we're gonna see them more. We're gonna see them more once we, when we get more characters, but, uh, Estelle basically high fives every character, like, the uh, the end the end win quotes the end win animations that we have uh, like the the ending screen or whatever for the battles uh, if you guys have noticed sometimes she'll high five Rita and sometimes she'll high five Yuri and that's like a running joke uh, and I finally remembered like why that's a joke because when I was rewatching the episodes and like in the uh, in the very first episode when she meets Yuri um, I think it was to the left. In the very first episode when she meets Yuri, she, uh, he, he goes, when they get out the sewers, he goes to give her a high five, and she just kind of looks at him like he's crazy, and, um, she, she, like, pokes, she pokes his palm, so, like, she doesn't understand what the high five was, and Yuri's kind of just like, uh, okay, and it's just, like, this really cute moment, but it also explains... Why she high fives everybody? Because she learned it from Yuri. And I think that's really funny. Crap. Oh my god, I'm an idiot. I just. Anyway, but, uh. So, the point is, is that it's just this running joke, and I think it's really funny, and it's pretty cute. She high fives people. Um, and I'm also an idiot. I just assumed we needed to go here, where the, uh, the guide I'm looking at actually tells me where to go in order to activate the cutscene. So, I'm kind of an idiot. Okay. Gotta go back here. Uh, first off, though. Seemed like Rita learned that, so let's give her... The Endless Heart, which is kind of a cool name. Uh, I don't want to... I do not want to engage. Damn it. Alright, that's fine. More experience, more battles, stuff. Thank you. For the nurse. Alright, so we also get some, uh, some equipment. So I think we're supposed to go here. Yeah. I'm talking to this bad boy. Bakemono? 
ここに彼がいたのか。Who's he? 彼魔物のことです。魔物。人間がどう呼ぼうが、些細なことではあるが、彼らも報われないことだ。ああ。Somebody's a little mad. あれは魔物じゃないってことです。そもそも魔物って何なのよ。人間を襲う凶暴な生き物を。僕らは全部ひっくるめて魔物って呼んでるけどだとすりゃあれは魔物だろああそっかガキンチョの言ってるのは人間の基準でしかないんだわそれって一口に魔物と言っても本当はいろいろあるってことですそれより今の人前にもデイドントリデで会いましたよねああ得体の知れないやつだなまあ、私らには関係ないやつでしょう。そ、そうだね。Okay, so、uh, that gives you a little more insight into that character.、Uh, he's just this weird guy. The first time we saw him was at Date and Hold, but the way he talks, it's definitely kind of weird. You gotta pay attention to him.、Uh, he's kind of implying that、uh, a couple things that I think we can learn from that, or infer, kind of assume.、Uh, he speaks as if he's not a human. He's, he like, he says things like, humans call it this, and stuff like that.、Uh, and also, he kind of. He's kind of implying that,、uh, that, big old, that big boy that we fought earlier is not really a monster in the same vein that we think,、uh, monsters, that we think of monsters. So there might be,、uh, as. as、uh, who was it that said it? Was it Estelle? Or. Carol that said it. But there may be something a little more to the monsters that we're fighting. Maybe not these ones, but maybe the ones, the big ones. Maybe not these little boys, but、uh, the big ones that were,、uh, that the the guild had behind the burial. The, the burial. The barrier. Just kind of something to think about. Alright, so we're done with the side quests for now. That was the last thing we had to do. So now, all that's left is to make our way to、uh, Dongrest, and then after that, Cave Mock, which is the forest where we gotta do some stuff, fix some stuff, and it should be fun. Alright, so this is the team for now. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and get out of here, make our way to Dongrest. Alright, so now we're on the other side.、Uh, we still have the same monsters. Crap, crap. There's a double battle.、Um, a lot of these flying guys. There's a lot of them. Alright, let's see. I'm trying not to get hit. There we go. Got some skills. Skills to pay the bills. So, let's see. We got axes up on him. Carol already, Carol already mastered those. That was pretty quick. Repeat mastered those, so now let's give him that. Still doesn't have anything to master, so we're doing pretty good on skills. Pretty sure Dongrest is that over there. I'm just checking the,、uh, the area. Uh, that's fine. You get a lot of experience for doing、uh, encounter links. Alright, alright, guys. I've had enough of you. Damn it, I was trying to do my burst start. Alright. Just a couple more to take care of. 
And I don't know where you're aiming, Rita. Alright. Did some good. That was good. That was good. We uh, definitely took them out. Now let's see. Where is Don Grass? Over this bridge. We must go. You see that? A dust cloud? Oh, okay, so now we're in a new territory. We got some new, uh, new things to fight. There's a big old mantis thing. It's kind of weird looking. It's been a while. Oh, oh we have strategy. I knew that. Uh, I usually don't care for strategy. I usually just let people do what they want to do. Uh, grasshopper, weak to fire. It's been a while since... Oh, you know what I just realized? I turned off all of her moves forever ago. Oh my god, I'm so sorry, Rita. Rita's been handicapped. She's been only using Fireball as a spell this whole time. Because for the uh, for that big boy that we fought in... Um, in... Uh, Karabakram, I turned off all of her moves. Jeez, I'm sorry, Rita. <laughs> she didn't even have access to all of her, her spells. Anyway, what I was gonna say is that it's been a while since we uh, since we since we Pokedex the new a new uh, a new monster or whatever. So it's kind of interesting. I'm pretty sure that's Dongrest over there. Um, I don't know if these are new monsters. I don't think so. Oh no, yeah, these are Feely Helia. Okay, we haven't fought these things yet. Ow. Ow. Please get off my back. Okay, so we actually, uh, <laughs> we didn't do too great in that match, but we won. That's what's important. And we're going to explore a little bit. Look, Repeat's pretty sick. Um, we're going to explore a little bit. Is this guy new? Is this a different kind, or is this the same kind? Okay, yeah. We fought this guy before. These are the ones that were in Rago's mansion. Didn't have anything to say for that one, I guess. Alright, so what I was trying to do was just kind of explore, see what's going on over here. Uh, go away, jeez. There's gotta be a way to increase your movement speed on the map. That thing just got rocked. Oh my god, that thing got destroyed. That's the power of teamwork, baby. Alright, I'm pretty sure this is gonna prevent us from actually um, going there. Okay, we got some, uh, what do you call it? Got some, uh, materials. Whoa, that's new. That is a new thing. Horse Raptor? Yeah, that's new. That's cool. It's kind of cool looking. I like it. I don't know what it drops, but that's pretty cool. Maybe we'll fight enough of it so that... Uh... Alright, I want to see if this guy has anybody new. So it's all people we fought before. Bandito? I thought I got him. I thought I got Bandito. I remember saying something about his name. 
Nani, 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 Nani. <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead and uh, just take care of that guy. Let's see, watch. There you go. See what I mean? She's, she goes around high fiving everybody because she learned it from Yuri. She learned how to high five from Yuri. I find that to be super cute. Alright, let's see. Uh, he still has some stuff. I don't think this is gonna let me go in. Yeah, there's something going on here. Not gonna let me. Just go ahead and fight this guy. These guys are like the ultimate trio. It's like a land, sea, and air kind of thing. They're attacking us from all fronts. Oh, damn. Good job, Rita. Alright. Cool. Moving on. Moving forward. Look at that sunset. It's beautiful. Um, we can enter the city from... We can't enter the city from these sides. Which is really kind of annoying. I was trying to get a triple. Oh, baby, a triple! But we couldn't. Couldn't get the triple. Ow, 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 ow. Alright, so we're doing pretty good. I wonder if you get, um... If you get plus grade for using burst starts, I think you do. I'm not entirely sure. Alright, I think that's all I have. Nothing over here. Okay, so I have to go back across the bridge just to enter Dongress the right way. Because they don't want me to enter it this way. Go away, please. I'm just a helpless princess. Go away. Pay no mind. Okay. So basically where that bridge is. And then we can see there's a, there's a way out of Dongress that gets us over to that side. But what we're actually going to do is we're going to call it here. Um, I, knew this, I knew this episode was going to be kind of entirely comprised of just getting to Dongress, but... That's what it was. We did a lot of side quests, and we got, we set, well, we basically are ready to enter Dongress. So next episode, we'll do that. We'll be in a new area. It'll be fun, a new city. We'll see what, what's up going on here, and uh, it'll be great. So thank you guys for watching. Leave a like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I'll see you guys, as always, in the next one. Peace out. Yeah, we move the best Better check the next Cause we coming fresh